I found out something that is exciting and a bit scary at the same time. When you interact with ChatGPT, you don't really know what OpenAI does with your data. And unless you disable the chat history, your data might be used to train the next GPT version. There is also an unknown risk of how your data could be exposed one day. Alternatively, you could also use the playground. But since it charges for every single request you are making, it can become quite expensive in the long run. GPT 3.5 and 4 are also not the only LLMs available. If you go to the huggingface.co, you can see hundreds of LLMs. They are all fine-tuned and tailored for specific needs like writing codes, and some of them are also serious competitors to GPT. You might love to try them out, but perhaps you either don't know how to code or you don't want to invest the time in coding your own version of OpenAI Playground? What if you don't have an internet connection and still want to access the power of generative AI? And what if I tell you that there is a way to run your own LLM locally without knowing how to code and without spending any money? But before diving into it, you need to promise me something. And it's not about subscribing to my channel and leaving a thumb up. I mean, you can also do that to help me out. But do you remember ChatGPT at the beginning? It was uncensored, but to a certain extent. There were some obvious things that you couldn't ask it to do, but you could still use ChatGPT with bad intentions. You know, like asking ChatGPT to pretend that they are a cybersecurity expert and ask it to find a security breach on a website. You give the code to prevent these attacks while your actual intention is specifically to hack the website. And here's the deal. Running LLM on your own machine is a powerful stuff. And with that come a serious mantra. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. We are about to tap into something big, so let's use it wisely. Ready? Let's dive in. The first step is to go to lmstudio.ai and download LM Studio. The software is unfortunately not available if you have a MacBook with an Intel processor as they only support M1 and M2 for now. Also, you will need to have RAM on your laptop, maybe even a good CPU or GPU, depending on the LLM you want to run. Personally, I have an M1 MacBook Pro with the basic graphic card, and I was able to run some LLMs. Once you downloaded the package, you can simply install it. And when running it on my Mac, I had an issue with a folder that was not found. I looked on their Discord and they told that user to update his version of macOS, which I did, but I was still not able to make it work. After some time, I figured out that I can just create the folder myself, and then I'm able to run it. At least it may be a upgrade my macOS version, which I usually don't. Now, let's see how to download an LLM. On the homepage, you can see the most popular LLM. For each of them, you can see the release date, how much RAM it needs, which is pretty good to know, some description, and also the research paper sometimes. From there, it is pretty simple to use. You have a search bar where you can simply type the name of the LLM, for example, Zephyr, which is an LLM that has been quite famous recently. So here I can see how many downloads, how many likes it got. And if you click on model card, you can see the documentation on Hugging Face. In there, you can see the documentation and you even have a community tab where people talk about it, ask their questions and get answers. So you can then download it and it will show at the bottom of the screen in model downloads. Once it is downloaded, it is available to use. If you click on the folder on the left, you can delete any LLM you downloaded. But now now let's see how to chat with the LLM. To chat with the LLM, you need to load it. So go to the chat tab on the left and then on the top, click and select the LLM you want to load and run. You can also see how much RAM and CPU it uses currently. Once the LLM is loaded, you can simply type a message and directly get an answer from the LLM. Pretty simple, isn't it? On the right side, you can set some parameters like OpenAI Playground. You can set the randomness, for example, the number of words to generate. And if you want more information about this parameter, you can simply hover them and you will directly know what the parameter is about. I absolutely love that about LM Studio. So good job on the UX UI to the developers. Now let's see some more advanced features. If you're a developer and are developing some solutions, you can also run it as a server. An API similar to Chat Completion API from OpenAI Playground will then be available for you to use locally. Here you can see an example of request with curl. I found that tool pretty amazing and it still surprises me that it is free to use. I had quite some fun testing different LLMs. So let me know in the comments which LLM you tried and how the experience went. If you like this type of video and wants to learn more about AI, 
subscribe to the channel and give a thumb up. It really helps me with the visibility of the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.